episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader of online cybersecurity education. Join more than 10,000 professionals from over 120 countries to learn security online. I am Damien from Pentester Academy TV, and I want to welcome you to another episode of The Toolbox, where we showcase the latest and greatest open source tools. Add them to your tool collections today. Let's take a look at Eclicon by Islam Ark. Welcome to Aklikon Project and thanks for the Tester Academy to giving me the chance to talk about it. As a first, I want to uh, define myself. My name is Islam Ak, I am the creation tester and the bug bounty hunter. I acknowledge by Google, IBM, Spotify, Merkshark and others. As a first, what is Aklikon? Aklikon is an automation framework used by bug bounty hunter and penetration tester to perform multiple tasks in the recon uh, or information gathering process. Uh, it's used open source tools and its own script to perform more than 20 tasks on medium and large school, not on uh, small school. Uh, and uh, you can run it using button tree or bash and, uh, and this option uh, in the Rust version 1.1 if you have any problem with Python or uh, Python libraries. At the first, let me took a, uh, take a look uh, at the methodology. In this methodology uh, related to version 1.1, as I said before, uh, it has an automation part and manual uh, part or manual tasks. Let's take a look first uh, at the automation part. Uh, we have a large scope, so uh, the acquisitions or ASN uh, within in the scope. At the first, uh, the tool will use uh, will use uh, a collector tool to per, uh, to collect all ASN and acquisitions from some websites, and uh, you can use the ASN from the results uh, using AMS to. Uh, to generate the domains which related to uh, the, the mother company or the main company uh, and this step is uh, manually because because uh, the, the AMS sometimes it return uh, false positive results so you need to check it manually and after that it will collect subdomains using three tools and the first tool subfinder asset finder and uh, there is a three uh, there is a third tool uh, it's not included here, but uh, the tool used it. It's RT Finder, it's own uh, script. It's a tool, it's a script uh, owned to the tool. Uh, after that, the collection of, the, of these subdomains will be sorted and filtered using uh, QoS replace tool. Uh, and after that, it will uh, do uh, two things. The first one is check, check the response uh, from HTTPX. It will filter them to, uh, to uh, return back only uh, subdomains which works on HTTP and HTTPS protocols and after that it will uh, use this uh, live subdomains to generate uh, github uh, search links by, uh, by bash script related to, to, to the tool and you can also use uh, this search links to make uh, two things javascript and file analysis and uh, github search uh, manual and after that, it will use alt DNS to generate sub subdomains or sub 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 subdomains from the live subdomains, and also it will use uh, this live subdomains to generate Wayback uh, URLs using Wayback URLs tool and the GAU uh, to uh, pass uh, over them to pass all these links over a new client or extract uh, JavaScript files or anything else. After that, it will use GF better. Give better uh, it's a tool uh, that use better to uh, filter or to uh, we can say if we need uh, the, the links which may vulnerable to access so give better will uh, will uh, grab them uh, from the way back urls and also uh, pass them over new fly uh, automation scanning for the all subdomains or all boards not uh, not uh, which works on board 80 and board 443, it will uh, perform board scan using MMAP and also batch script to uh, to convert from uh, domain to IV. And also it will uh, perform content discovery or directory brute force using their search. In the version 1.1, these two options are optional to the user if we need if you if you want uh, to perform these two steps on all subdomains or on uh, the main domain only because uh, these two steps will take a long time. Uh, for the manual uh, steps or the manual tasks, you can also uh, grab subdomains from srt.sh using this technique. It will uh, grab more 
uh, more subdomains or more specific subdomains and these results will uh, grab using SRT finder it's my own tool also for the github search you can use this uh, links from uh, which you generate from the bash script you will find it with the tool or also you can use GitHub or uh, get uh, github search manually it will be fine if you search manually or uh, also the same thing with Google Dorking. It will be uh, manually because of recaptcha or uh, Google uh, Google reviews or Google doesn't allow to uh, automate uh, its search. Uh, and JavaScript uh, and file analysis, I I recommend you to uh, analyze it or analyze it using uh, manual uh, techniques to uh, extract uh, API links, password, or anything else. So this is a methodology. Let's take a look at uh, the practical demo and return back. So welcome to the practical demo of Aklopon. Here is Nam Akl and I will talk about how to use the tool with an example domain. But the first, let me talk about what is the version I will use. Version 1.1, you can download it from here. And for the new features, uh, we have uh, some stuff of the new, new features that I prefer to use like uh, use, uh, use the tool with Python 3, not Python 2 and if you have any problem with Python you can use the bash, bash version of the tool from here and make some change in the methodology use uh, different tools and also ask the user uh, for permission uh, that related to some process and for the recommended options I recommend you to run the install tool script here the install tool uh, tool script uh, you can find it here with the root privilege because we have some uh, tools that require uh, the root permission to be installed also uh, I, I recommend you to use your own VBS not on your uh, local machine to consume your uh, machine resource and time also use uh, tmux or screen to create a session and close the VBS while the session is still uh, running and also uh, run uh, some manual tasks like uh, dorking uh, while the tool is running so you don't don't waste your time and waiting uh, until it finishes so let's get started with the practical demo after downloading the tools we have some files like this we need to check the install tools bash uh, file at the first uh, or at the first step you need to do is uh, running this file install tools but i have run it before so let's get into it and know what it will do at the first it will update and upgrade the system after that it will delete and install the last version of go but note that it will uh, delete the go uh, directory or uh, user local go directory uh, because it will install the last version 1.14 uh, after that it will use, uh, it will install uh, Python 3 and Ruby screen and some uh, prerequisite language after that it will install pip2 and some libraries uh, it will install the prerequisite tools like subfinder, uh, HTTPX, Nucli, uh, Nucli templates, asset finder, GF, uh, mmap if you use uh, Ubuntu like me we don't have uh, mmap installed before and also some scripts to perform uh, board scan, uh, AMAS and GF and to copy all uh, go uh, command to user local pen. So at the first we need to use the uh, Python version from here and that should help to see what the options we have. We have dash t uh, which to specify the target uh, domain or target uh, or scoop domain like google.com, microsoft.com we will use hacker1 because hacker1 uh, have a password program hacker1 dot hacker one.com like this it will ask me to perform direct brute force using direct search in all founded subdomain i will choose no uh, because it will uh, take a long, a long time also it will ask me to scan all boards or scan boards in all founded subdomain i will also uh, choose uh, no for the same reason after that it will collecting asn and acquisitions if we have a large school and also it will collect resolved subdomains using SRT finder, asset finder and subfinder. If we check the directories, we have a uh, directory created uh, called hacker1. Let's get it in, into it. And we have all the results in this directory. I, I will stop the 
video and I will return back until it finishes. So welcome again after two hours we have finished and let's take a look at the results we have. As I said before we have direct record hacker run related to the domain name hackerrun.com so if we get into hacker run we have multiple files and two directories let's check uh, the a all subdomains and resolve the subdomain all subdomains we have uh, I think uh, 315 subdomain but not all of them works on uh, HTTP and HTTPS so we have in resolved subdomain the subdomains only which works on uh, HTTP protocol and HTTPS also so we need to check uh, the vulnerable directory what we have here we have uh, possible vulnerable links related to uh, wayback URL tickets uh, let's check the GF XSS all of these uh, links may be vulnerable to XS related to the parameter name uh, or anything else uh, uh, we have in GF JSON uh, parameters or JSON keywords which filter all of them and we have in automation the nuclei results we have multiple results but we have here uh, false positive result related to um, my Shopify. Uh, it's a hacker run account at myshopify.com, not uh, hackerrun.com. So you can ignore them. And let's take a look at the ASN acquisitions. If we have any ASN and acquisitions related to hacker run, so we don't have any ASN or any acquisitions. For GitHub Dorking, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look. GitHub Dorking, just uh, you need to uh, copy and paste this line or this URL, and it will redirect you to uh, GitHub Dorking uh, related to uh, this keyword. This keyword, like buzzwd, bwd, MySQL credentials, or anything else, you can uh, take all of them screenshots or uh, manual Dorking as you need let's take a look at alt dns output if we count the number of subdomains we have we have 10 subdomains from alt dns and also javascript file i don't think we have that's right we don't have any javascript from way back url let's check it manually way back grip dash f javascript we don't have any JavaScript file, so I hope you liked it. Let's return to presentation. So guys, hope you uh, liked the practical demo. Uh, if you have any question, uh, you can contact me on uh, Twitter or LinkedIn, and you can follow also uh, my uh, tools and uh, write-ups on my blog and GitHub. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Islam, for the wonderful presentation of the tool. Uh, before we end off the session, uh, I do have two questions for you. Um, what inspired you in creating these tools? Uh, the first thing, uh, manual tasks. Uh, I repeat every day the manual tasks. So uh, to, to consume my time or uh, efforts, I uh, making it uh, making it. Uh, uh, we can say uh, automatic or automation process to uh, consume my time and uh, my resource or my efforts. Uh, the, the second uh, thing that I heard uh, at Luke, uh, I think its name, to, uh, he says that automation is a secret. So I want to try it and it's success. Oh, okay. So it was trying to make your work more automated. So that. Uh, it's yeah. <laughs> I think everybody create their open source tools this way because they want to free up most of their time, you know, to get the result that they want. It consumes want. time. It consumes yeah. time, uh, and I will uh, and I perform manual tasks or manual uh, working uh, while it's running. Uh, I, I I run it and sleep or eat or uh, perform manual uh, manual working or anything else. <laughs> <laughs> totally understand that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so, you know. It, as an open source tool author, you know, is there any expect in your tools that you would like the community to continue to contribute in? Uh, if anyone have have an idea or uh, want to contribute, uh, so uh, 
it's free to contribute uh, or edit or uh, suggest suggest any any other idea. So no problem was here. Ah, so it, you are still free to open to let people. It's to... free to contribute or edit it. No problem. Oh, in more ideas, <laughs> yeah, to help them to solve, uh, to automate more stuff. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Is that you know, you know, uh, just one last uh, one quick also one questions that I would uh, at the top of my head. Is there any other aspect in in your work that you would like it to be automated that is not inside? Yeah. Uh, I think my my current work is bug bounty hunter. Uh, I I am not uh, in the, I am not working in the company even now. So I think uh, I went on it uh, at some of the hunting or some of process. But uh, but the manual the manual task or uh, manual working or manual uh, recon uh, is the same thing. It's all thing. It's all things. It's very important, uh, but uh, there is about uh, like uh, collecting subdomains or uh, filtering subdomains uh, to have live uh, live subdomains. Uh, I perform it manually using it, uh, but the remain uh, tasks I perform it uh, uh, manually. The, the first the, the collecting subdomains it's uh, automation, but the first uh, but the, the remain of uh, recon uh, I perform it manually. Okay, okay, fair enough. Okay, thank you, Islam, for for participating in our toolbox program. Uh, I do hope that you enjoy uh, in this recording, and we hope that the community can contribute back to your tools that you have built. Uh, I want to thank you for giving me the chance to uh, talk about you and uh, talk about my project, and uh, I'm very happy to be here. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for your time. You are welcome. You are welcome. Thank you, Islam, once again for coming on board to this episode of The Toolbox. For more information of this tool, do see our description box below. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the next episode of The Toolbox.